Hi, my name is Richard Harbridge. I'm a Microsoft MVP and someone who works regularly with customers to help improve the employee experience and regularly speaks at conferences about this particular area of interest. So today I thought I would kind of cut through the noise and explain what is Viva Amplify uh, and what problem is it trying to solve? And I hope this is helpful for you. To lead is a remote first company based out of Canada. What makes a world class Microsoft 365 internet and digital workplace? So, the key thing to take away from Microsoft Viva Amplify is it is yet another employee experience improvement where today we have a problem. If I want to communicate to a, a distributed group of peers, uh, employees that report to me, or even in organizational units, I often have to do that through a multiple set of tools today, right? If I want to communicate, I might use Outlook to send an email distribution to a large collection of people. I might even use more fancy techniques like a newsletter technique. I might use SharePoint news and have a wonderful, beautiful news experience on my internet um, that I would, you know, support not just in maybe the homepage of the internet, but rolling up into other key pages or into Viva Connections as an example for a personalized newsfeed experience. In addition to that, I might also communicate in something like Yammer. I might use Yammer for a variety of reasons. I might use it to connect to people outside of my working group. And so that's a good place for me to post that message. It might be to create more visibility for those who use something like Yammer as a primary means for understanding what's happening in the organization. It also could be a way to add sort of Yammer functionality like polls or Q&A or other things like that in correlation to my announcement. And so these are things that I can use Yammer for. At the same time, it doesn't end there. A lot of times when we communicate, we might use tools like Microsoft Teams and we might communicate to individuals or to channels and we'll use a variety of other places that we communicate in your organization. Maybe use non-Microsoft technology and you wanna communicate in those ones. And this is really the fundamental problem of communication. We often have a key message that we wanna share, but contextually we need to share it to different places and in different ways. And that's what Viva Amplify is really meant to support. The idea with Viva Amplify is that we can take these messages and we can help people by creating campaigns, which is really what we're trying to do, around a message to further reach a greater audience, to create more engagement around that message because some platforms and places that I can communicate that to uh, naturally have a, a greater level of engagement, especially when they're more targeted. And it allows us to do all of this in a way that potentially supports communications governance patterns like approvals uh, and the reporting that we'd want to see afterwards in terms of impact and what resonated so maybe we can improve our communications in the future or adjust them in mid-flight perhaps. So with that, let's talk about what is Viva Amplify then from a functional perspective. Inside of it, you have the ability to create campaigns. These campaigns have targets. So essentially metrics that you're trying to uh, achieve with the campaign itself. There is certainly a concept here of reuse of campaigns, favorite campaigns, um, being able to engage in previous campaigns, track the status, is it live, is it ongoing, has it been completed? And of course, how do we learn how to use these tools in a more effective way? All of these things will be core to the uh, Viva Amplify experience. In this particular example, if we were to take a step further into this and we were to scroll down the page, you'll also see uh, that same sort of activity feed or the feed that you get from Viva Connections where you have these cards that represent them and you'll get a sense of what's actually happening around some of these signals. So here we see particular information that might be relevant for communicators um, so that they can learn. Again, further connecting experiences like Viva Connections with places people might do their work like Viva Amplify in the future. Now, this may seem like, oh, great, we can create communications, uh, we can create strategies, but there's a bunch uh, more uh, capabilities that Microsoft is looking to improve on here, not just to allow for that multiple channel distribution and reporting, but importantly, to also improve how we create that communication in the first place. So here you can see when I go to create that communication, I'm taken through to an experience. The next stage of the experience is to provide, as I mentioned earlier, the metrics and the goals for that. Uh, it's easy to collaborate on these campaigns because again, most of the time when we create a campaign, it's not just one of us creating the com corporate communications content and it's certainly not just one of us publishing that content or uh, following up on it and supporting you know, the questions and comments and things like that that can come out of it. So when you create the content itself, even there, Microsoft is using their AI capabilities and engine to provide writing guidance, to provide suggestions on how to tweak or optimize that experience. Long-term, this will 
correlate to things that we've seen in other places, like how Microsoft has worked hard to improve how we write emails, how we create slides within um, you know, PowerPoint, and a variety of other th tools. So expect to see more here that is um, going to come. In the, the core experience here, you do have some key concepts, including, and this is an important one, the ability to preview what it looks like within the channels that you're going to distribute into. That could be SharePoint, Outlook, Yammer, and not far away, even the Windows experience where we distribute that in notification so it pops up for those who are using Windows devices and Windows 11. In addition to this, when we have finally created and crafted our careful uh, communication, we can then get approvals and we can schedule it. This is very, very helpful because a lot of times when we actually create campaigns, we might want to have a distributed set of schedules. You do one major motion, right? Like we're doing a major announcement, but then you do a series of follow-up things that actually amplify or further support and engage people around that motion. Think of a really simple thing like you're announcing that you're doing uh, making meetings better in an organization and there can campaign is to help people understand how meetings could be improved. This might have training registrations, this might have tips and tricks, this might have a variety of different places where you actually have tons of communication going out into many channels. And what you could do is you could use the, a series of campaigns to support that activity and then provide more uh, concrete and more effective reporting beyond you know having to look at these all in disparate uh, spaces. So scheduling is actually a really important one because it allows us to potentially blend campaigns in really creative ways uh, from you know again from a, a coordination perspective. And then lastly, you have things like approval requests. In this example, uh, the approvals is a really important concept because you can't create a new way for people to communicate and not think of the governance considerations here. Expect more, again, as uh, the organizations begin to use this and give feedback to Microsoft. This is, of course, a Viva experience, so it will continue to improve over the coming months and years ahead. Now, you may have noticed that when I talked about distribution channels, the ones that Microsoft is looking to release uh, in this initial uh, experience around Viva Amplify are things like SharePoint, Yammer, Outlook, and of course, Windows 10 over time. But these channels that are on the right um, are missing one that I think a lot of organizations actively want to contribute in, which is Microsoft Teams. So let me note for you that there is still a pathway to do distribution of communication to Microsoft Teams, and that is the Microsoft Teams company communicator experience. So if you're not sure how to handle that in the meantime, that's a good way to start and continue using the Microsoft Teams company communicator until again, Microsoft has a more uh, comprehensive solution solution provided either in Amplify or in, in an adjacent and supportive way. So this is another example where you may be thinking, oh, I love the idea of being able to distribute to all these channels, but I don't see Teams in this, and I want to be able to message you know, key stakeholders and influencers individually in Teams, and I want to be able to message these channels and things like that. Again, there is a pathway to doing that. It just might not be in Amplify in this initial launch period. So um, definitely something to keep in mind for yourself. And again, if you're looking for guidance on that, we have uh, extensive guidance in this thing called an employee idea book that has links to this uh, Teams company communicator experience. We've enhanced it ourselves uh, with customers in the past. So, you know, feel free to reach out and I can give you that code or help you and your organization implement something like that. But at the end of the day, Viva Amplify is solving a real problem. It's a huge step in the right direction for distributed communications and being able to make sense of this distributed employee experience that we now have across multiple mediums. And uh, it's something that I'm really excited for, and I hope you are as well. So if you haven't had a chance to look at Viva Amplify, I do encourage you to go look at it yourself, uh, install it, play with it, get in the preview program. The preview program is open. You can go and sign up now. And uh, I hope uh, to work with you soon or, or hear how you guys yourselves are using uh, Viva Amplify to improve uh, communications experiences for all employees. Bye for now.